I don't know anything. <laughs> Sailing, I know that it's in water and that you need the wind to make it go. Um, I used to sail when I was younger. I used to go to camp and um, I sailed a lot with my sister and um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, um, yes. No, I did not. Yes. I did know it's an Olympic sport. I started sailing when I was seven, right before I turned eight. Didn't do team sport things very well. So I started at that age and partially because my parents told me I should. And it was fun. I started sailing this summer because some of my friends were doing it and it seemed pretty cool. I started at PYSF January of last year and I started because I like it. I started sailing about three years ago because my friends were doing it and I thought it'd be fun and ever since then I've just really enjoyed it. High school sailing is um, year-round. It's a practice after school from 3.30 to 6.30. I usually go three to four times a week if there's a competition on the weekends. So. There's camps you can take in the summer to improve your sailing for the competition. Crews balance out the boat and you control the jib, which is like the front sail. As a skipper, you have to um, keep the boat moving forward. The skipper is the one who's holding the tiller who's actually in control of where the boat is going and the skipper is also the one that's typically in charge gets to decide where they it's go also very hard a regatta is a sailing race where multiple teams and boats come and compete on a race course and usually th that happens several times throughout the day and it carries on over the weekend it can be well, you have to rig it so you have to put the sails up with lines that are called halyards on a boat nothing is called a rope it's there are lines halyards, sheets, no, none of the ropes are called ropes. So you put the sails up with halyards, make sure all the sheets are tied in properly, make sure that all your control lines, which control like all the specific parts of the sail, are in the correct position for the sailing conditions. And then you put the rudder in, centerboard down, and there you go. Um, well, you have to know where the wind's coming from, current, um, other boats, wave height, all that stuff. It is hard. You have to be conscious of where the wind is, conscious of where other boats are and where they are going. Because if you're not conscious of that, they can easily mess you up by blocking all of your air. I'd say sailing's more of a mental sport because you have to think five steps ahead if you want to win your race or your heat. It's really tactical and you really need to study the course and learn which side is best and where you want to turn. There's so many factors that go into it, you really need to have a sharp mind to compete. Um, I think it's really different and I don't think a lot of people do it. The thing about sailing is you get to feel the real natural power of the wind and the water and hopefully not swim in the water too much. So it's a co-ed sport and um, a lot of it is about mental strength versus physical strength. I really like it when it's high wind and it's very and it's stressful and you have to be leaning out the boat the entire time to try to steady it. It's just it's really exciting and I think that's the best part of sailing. Um, I'd say so the team that I sailed with, there were three people on the boat and being able to kind of Sometimes Olympic campaigning in any sport can become a little bit of a grind. You know, it turns into a job almost, and you have to show up and do all the gym work and the studying and all that. And we managed to keep it fun and light and do really well at the same time. And I think that was sort of my, my biggest takeaway that, you know, the sport is as awesome and as difficult as you want to make it. But at the end of the day, it's the people that you're sailing with and the people on your team that make it super enjoyable. Um, I think it depends on how seriously you take it. Like some people um, think it's really serious, but like it's mostly just like a fun thing to do. There are some really good people who sail. If you get into the higher fleets, it gets really hard and very, very competitive. Lower levels are not so competitive, but they're not supposed to be. So if you work your way up, it gets very, very difficult. Um, it's as competitive as you want to make it. You know, you can do sailing as a leisure sport and just go have fun with your friends or you can you know be cutthroat and show up to practice and want to win every drill and win every practice um, so it's and it's at every level you know do you want to go and just sail at practice and not really go to a competition or do you want to eventually make it the Olympics and represent your country yeah I, I will continue sailing on the team next year I can do it 
only do it in fall due to other sports activities, but I love sailing and I love doing it and competing. Sailing is a ton of fun, yeah. It's like my sport. And I also like the idea of sailing more. I'm not in for the contact sports and such. I like the whole mental aspect of sailing. So yes, I would sail next year. Nothing's quite as cool as, you know, getting the American flag all over your sails and knowing you were chosen to represent everybody that sails this type of boat, and everyone that does this sport. And you're going to hopefully, you know, make everybody at home super proud. I'm sailing college, just like at the high school, it's, uh, it's super fun. There are people from all over the country that do it. And you can do it on any level. You know, you could be the rock star that's recruited, or you could be the walk-on that's, you know, you used to be a swimmer and you didn't want to wake up at 5 in the morning anymore. And so you join the sailing team. I'm hoping that all of our kids at least check out schools that potentially have sailing teams for them. College is another really fun. They should continue to have fun with their high school sailing to balance the hard work they're doing in school. And then they're going to have a whole lot of fun with college sailing while balancing that with academic work. I would definitely sail in college if that was an option. Yeah. Sailing isn't uh, an NCAA sport. That really isn't a big deal. Uh, so what is it? Um, the Intercollegiate Sailing Association is really the organizing authority. Coach Mitch Brindley from Old Dominion uh, is the president of the ICSA. This is uh, where is the Intercollegiate uh, Sailing Association? There it is. These are our seven districts. Uh, so uh, they have different strengths and weaknesses, uh, geographical realities, and we'll, we'll get into that maybe when we look at them more closely. Uh, there are seven, I think, Nisa, Mesa, uh, Mid-Atlantic, South Atlantic, uh, Southeast, Northwest, uh, Pacific Coast, and Midwest. Where's your head at? You in the big leagues now. You in the big leagues now. My name's Taylor Canfield, I'm the flight controller and tactician on board. Come on, don't ask me these hard questions. Pilot, motherfucker. Out of the Hats, no hats, frillo pads. Too good. Yeah, we got a great team back in the classroom. <laughs> it's uh, you know coming from a variety of different backgrounds in sailing. We want to push the boundary. Uh, you know, to a pretty young group of guys, and uh, you know, best part about it, it's all American team. <laughs> I did a year of baseball. Yeah, they threw me in right field. Though. You know, it's a great uh, experience to sail some you know high performance fast boats, and it's obviously a lot of fun. <laughs> loose, loose moments. I think uh, we can put. You know, a, good, a great team together and some great races together.